Welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. Today's topic, diamond color versus diamond clarity and what you should value more. Hi again. Every day I speak with customers who are trying to find the perfect diamond within their budget. While almost every diamond search is unique and different, I am almost always asked the same question. Which is more important when buying a diamond? Is it diamond color or diamond clarity? Most assume that color has more of an impact and should be prioritized over clarity, but this may not be the best approach. Differences in color are very slight, so a higher color diamond and a lower color diamond may actually look very similar. The truth is there's no simple answer to this question. Ultimately, the decision to prioritize either color or clarity should come down to three major factors. Number one, budget. Prices jump a lot higher when increasing the color of a diamond versus its clarity. If you're looking to save money, color may be the first place to cut, no pun intended. Number two, setting type. Yellow gold and rose gold settings help disguise the warm tones of lower color diamonds. So if you're going with one of those metals, don't worry about color so much. Spend wisely and put your focus on clarity and size over color. Lastly, number three, diamond shape. Clarity is more impactful in some shapes and color is more important in others. Here's a quick breakdown of color versus clarity for every diamond shape. First, round diamonds. Great news! The triangular facets of round diamonds disguise inclusions and color very well, so buyers can look a bit lower on the color and clarity scales. Choose a diamond with at least an SI1 or SI2 clarity and a J color. On the flip side, the step cuts present in an emerald or asher diamond make both inclusions very noticeable. For these shapes, it's best to prioritize clarity and look for a diamond with at least a VS2 clarity or higher. Princess cuts hide flaws very well, but inclusions in the corner can make the diamonds more susceptible to chipping or damage. Therefore, be sure to stick with a clarity grade of SI1 or higher. With regards to color, Princess diamonds do a great job of disguising any color present in the stone. Therefore, anything higher than an eye color will look absolutely white and beautiful. Pair oval and marquee diamonds show more color than any other shapes, so color should be your priority here. For white metals, look for a color grade of H or higher, or drop down to a K if you choose yellow or rose gold. Cushions and radiant cuts amplify color. To avoid buying a yellowish or warm diamond, search for diamonds with at least an eye color if you're going with a cushion or radiant. Well, that's it for this edition of Whiteboard Wednesday. Have more questions? Speak with myself or any other diamond expert at Brilliance by clicking here. Want to learn more? Click here to learn more about the most popular diamond shapes and what makes each unique. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking here. Happy hunting.